September 26th meeting of the uh, Finance Committee. Still echoing? A little bit. I'm glad the whole audience can hear you. There's, a whole, there's like a couple of you, it sounds like. Bad enough when there's only me talking. When there's two of me, it's even worse. Would you go ahead and pass these over? Uh, I think you have, everybody has the minutes of the, what was the date of that? September 12th. September 12th meeting. Take a look at it and get any changes. If there are no changes, I'll accept a motion to, or take a motion to accept the minutes. Um, make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. I have to abstain. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. So, okay, so. You and me, Skip. <laughs> all right. All those in favor? I opposed? vote for it even though I wasn't here. Okay. All those opposed? Abstentions? Here so it's three, zero, two. Thank you. The, everyone has a copy of the warrant motions, I believe, for the uh, for next Monday's town warrant. Uh, we have gone through several of these. Uh, anybody want to talk about number one again? Anybody want an explanation? Yeah, I would. How come we're going five years to ten years? So, either, either one of you. Oh, Go ahead, Diane. Okay, so yeah, this, I'm sorry, Article 1. So this was requested by the Franklin County Solid Waste District. Um, they want to have the option of re a five-year extension on the recycling process services, but they're going to put that out to bid in the spring, and then we'll still get to vote on that contract. But this is basically for the town to allow for the possibility of up to a 10-year contract for recycling services. Do they normally do a 10-year contract? They do, usually a five-year with a five-year option for extension. That's what I it's thought, but this thing. is for a 10-year with a five-year option, that's why. It's for a five-year, right, so it could extend it. I think normally they were doing exactly what you said. I don't know that they've ever done a 10-year with a five-year extension. Who gets the option, right. us or them or both? I'm sorry? Who Jeff? gets the option, the vendor, the town, or both? Both, I believe. So this, 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 is, only, this is only an allowance if the... Uh, Franklin County Waste Disposal does do a 10-year ten, ten contract that you can, we can participate go, go along with the same. Yes. Right. It's okay. a regional. It's okay. like for all the towns they're, in the region. They're the ones that handle our recycling right now. Okay. The contract. I just I say, I, I thought the 10-year was an you know, extraordinary amount of time. That's all. Well, the reason we have the ability now to do five years, isn't it, Diana? Mm -hmm. But 10 years is, is unusually long. I agree. And I don't, I don't know, except that the recycling market is very unstable. Well, it's a high risk no matter which way you go. Yeah. So. You know, you can, you, can, you can take the 10, it's like the oil. You can take the 10 year and win on it. You can take, uh, and take, take the 10 year and lose big on it too. You know, right. so it does. The thing is we have to vote every year to participate. So That's right. mm -hmm. um, if we choose not to participate, we don't have to participate. Oh, oh, so this, isn't a, this is not a binding 10-year contract. We, no. we want it, to be able to participate. Yes. I, it, it says in here it's still subject to then the board voting to participate and then town meeting funding the cost of that participation. So this is just oh, to... So this is, this is like as, as long as the first year is appropriated, the, every year after that uh, basically needs to be approved and appropriated. So. Well... I think every year you're going to We have vote every year right. to participate. Right. And, it, and we usually make money, so it's not it, like there is a... But that's what I'm saying. You don't, even though it's a 10-year contract, it's with 
their vendor. Yes. And you have the option <coughs> the, while they, they're there within the exactly. 10 years for 10 years renewing at their 10 year price. They, they put it out to bid, they manage it. Right. And they distribute the cost. And the cost is usually, I mean, we usually make, yeah. or we have traditionally made money. Right, right. Okay, thank you. And, and this, we're not voting for 10 year, we're voting to give Board of Selectmen the ability to enter into that. Correct. No. You're right. voting You're voting for the, the solid waste district to have the opportunity to have that, and then the board gets to sign on to that every But the town, you know, the town meeting is simply going to vote to give the selectmen the authority to, to do that. I believe that's what this says. Right. right. Well, it's to end for the solid waste district to enter into the contract, and then the town has part of that contract. They provide those services to us. But the, I don't think the town is signing a contract. The Solid Waste District is. But we're it, part of that. It, the Solid Waste <laughs> District exists because there are member towns. Right. <laughs> and so if the member towns don't support this, then they can't do it. Yeah. So, but I mean, it, the, the, yeah. Point, the point is that the town meeting isn't voting to enter into this. They're voting to give the selectmen the authority right. to enter into the agreement. Right. And we... I mean, Janamine is the one that controls it right now. She's done some fabulous mm -hmm. job. Um, she works with Kevin really, really well. Um, if they had, a, if they changed out to someone that is not as good or somebody, or that we're not satisfied, then we would not participate. Okay. Any further questions on that one? Nope. The, the second one, uh, I asked Carolyn, in particular to come and explain along with Diana what the municipal vulnerability preparedness grant is. New to me. My <coughs> that it's new to. You had also asked me to provide um, you know, some <coughs> documentation about what the match was, so I, I have that for you too, so Carolyn can elaborate. So we've already received that grant? Yes. Yes. This is, it's the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program is, um, the go it's a resiliency program, it's a climate change program. The governor um, is promoting this. And um, through, re through creating a resilient communities group that I chair, um, we have been doing work since Irene to organize the Deerfield River watershed into a resilient, resilient group. We share information on um, what projects are happening in the watershed. We provide matches. So it was, we were one of the first communities in the state that was certified. And basically it was because we had been doing this all along. So that we met the criteria. And um, so what we've done is try to formalize this a little bit more because um, not a lot is happening with climate change on the federal level, to say the least. So the governor is stepping up to the plate. And so under the umbrella of Deerfield 2030, which is, we haven't even defined it, it's relatively new, the idea is to be a more resilient community. and. By participating in this program, we've been funded every single round with um, our ideas and our, you know, we developed the plan and we've been funded right along. It's, it's odd in the sense there's just not a designated um, revenue stream for this. It's just whenever the governor gets some extra money, he opens it up. And so um, we're, we have been funded through three rounds. And the fourth round is in a couple weeks. Um, and so we're having a meeting on next Wednesday to um, <coughs> come up with some ideas again. And um, so this is the 78,000. Um, Diane put the whole thing in on the uh, town meeting warrant. Um, but it is broken down. It's basically, um, the total grant was $389,089. The um, 
uh, we have to come up with 25% of that. And some of it is in-kind services. Every time we have a meeting, I count $32 an hour. Diana counts whatever her um, per hour pay is. Kevin's time, that kind of thing. But um, you, we still need to come up with some dollars. So that's what the match is. We can break it down by um, project if you want. You want. I think we have the breakdown. We have. Yeah. yeah. We voted anyway, right? We vote, yeah. No, yeah. we voted. It yep. Yeah. Yeah. You just had asked to get some information. So the, just it it's it it's for the. It's basically for. It's a. I don't want to say it's a culvert replacement program, but. I have to say we're basically using it as a culvert replacement plan. And why it's so attractive is because they pay for the permitting, the engineering, and the installation. So there's no engineering and permitting that the town has to come up with and then gets you know, a grant for the implementation, which is the normal programs. This pays for the upfront engineering and the permitting, and then it pays off also for the implementation. So in the second round, we had received engineering for Mill Village culvert. Um, this round, we are putting, getting implementation money. This round is the match for Kelleher Drive. Kelleher Drive um, culvert is failure in failure. And so um, we updated our MVP pr um, plan. I, I forget the date, but a couple months ago, when we put in for the um, you know, application, and we did get engineering costs for Kelleher Drive. The next round would be, I, I, the problem is I need to figure out what, how much money it's going to be at Keller. We are estimating it's over a million dollars. It's a million two from what I, based on what I know of replacing culverts. So we might put that in the small bridge program instead of putting it in the fourth round. My intent on next Wednesday on the MVP program is to um, have a meeting, update our plan to include the tanks from South Deerfield Wastewater Treatment Plant, you know, the increasing in the height. And um, so hopefully um, in either the fourth or fifth round, I need to figure out how that matches because you have a year to spend the money. So I would want to get the money for the sewer treatment plant too early because you know, we have a ways to go to get there, but um, w my intent is to make sure it's covered. So we're putting it in the pro plan, and so I don't know if we'd actually apply for the money in the next two weeks or not. We have to decide strategically how that matches up with um, what we're doing at the sewer treatment plant. But the idea is to move things like that in the next round. So that's why we have, um, you know, on on the article, I right, think so the next the next article, article. I think we uh, have a, article, just a article sum. two, right? Yeah, or so article it, three, right. I think. Uh, but article, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, article, no, article two. Article two. If the town did not approve that, then we would have we've already received the two hundred seventy-seven thousand. So we would have to repay that. Worst case state. scenario, we we give it back, right? Okay, but. <clears throat> We would figure out some way. <laughs> I think we would have another town meeting because you don't. We don't no, want to give I, back the money. To, no, we want the culvert replaced. They don't want us to give back the money from my no, experience no, with no, grants. No. Uh, number three, we don't have any figures for that. Is that correct? Well, um, we, we, we had don't. talked about. We had talked about the, the. The problem is, we're doing all. We're doing this program, or we we are participating in this program. And we're, we've been extremely successful. The problem is we're always behind because then we have to come and ask for money. So we didn't mm -hmm. know if anybody was interested. It, we can certainly pass over it. I, I, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence because the idea is that we should participate and manage the money. So if you gave us a lump sum for the MVP program, then we can use it and then, uh, you know, ask for it once we get, we use it up. But if you want us to come every time, 
it's also it's also okay. I'm I except I, except that what happened last time we are I articulated to you last time what happened when we got the award we had three less than three weeks to sign a contract. They wanted the contract signed in less than three weeks, and the information was embargoed at that time. We don't expect that would happen again because the program was fresh and new at that time. Um, but the challenges that we like the, I just talked, the consultant, the MVP consultant was just here before your meeting and told me that they, we know the next round, the round is coming out in a couple weeks. So we're having a meeting next week to identify, you know, what we might apply for in that round. And we're going to apply for that in the next couple months and we could get an award in this fiscal year. So then we're in the same predicament of that we don't have that matching money. So I just want to be clear on that's what's, what's happening. So I, uh, the, uh, it's you. It's leftover money. So the governor needed us. You know, he wanted us to commit before, and it had to be committed before June thirtieth. So, but then we couldn't talk about it. I couldn't come and ask for the money for for because. It was, we weren't supposed to talk about it. But even if, but I'm, I'm concerned that even if we got an award, the timing would not allow us to get to a special town meeting to get the matching funds. The time to sign the contracts have been coming so quickly that I don't know that we could get that done in time. Is what, that's why I had asked to consider putting it on um, in, in so. anticipation of <clears throat> applying for the grant, which we seem to be intending to do. How many dollars are you talking about? I, I don't know. And that's why I wasn't comfortable asking for it unless you wanted to do like $100,000 or something like that to set aside for <clears throat> MVP purposes. But, and then we could just look at it you know, on a regular basis. Yeah, I, I think know. we'd be looking at the same amount, 80 to 100,000. I mean, it seems like if we're going to apply for, but you know, nearly. It, it seems like, funding. it seems like we're in the ballpark of usually four or five hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. And so 25% right. of that is a hundred, hundred-ish. Mm -hmm. um, usually we have some kind of in-kind combination, but I would, I would say usually a hundred thousand dollars off of four or five hundred thousand is normal. Do you know of any towns that are actually putting money aside? For Not little towns, no. We're we're the, we're about the only little town that's competing. Right. right. And the large towns have the ability to get the money by going through the city council. Or just or they have money set aside for, you know, They're I, more it's, nimble. They have money set aside for projects that are, you know, that they were going to do anyway, and that's part of. They're just putting the projects into the um, MVP program. Right, and it, we're we're also at the forefront of this in terms of the action plan. The town of Deerfield did their um, did their plan to get into the program very quickly, and so you've been funded in. This is we would be applying for what we're calling MVP four. So actually, the fourth round of the action action grants. And no community of this size is doing action grants like this. They're doing, they're still in the planning phase. The FRCOG is doing planning grants for, I think, 12 communities in Franklin County, 12 or so other communities. So once all those communities get their plans done, they're all going to be competing for that action grant money. So, but we're ahead of that. We're, we're out ahead of it. So we want to keep that momentum. Keep applying. I, I, I just didn't know how you wanted to handle it. I'm, if, I'm if we can use reserve funds. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is we don't have enough money in the reserve account to cover something like that. You only get a hundred thousand in here. You can't give a hundred thousand away. But if we can make it a lower amount, like fifty thousand, then use some of the reserve. That's a that'd be a good compromise. Or, or put the money in the reserve fund. Or and put it in the reserve fund. And then that way when you want it, we just ask for it. Well, that I, point, I, the, as far as I'm concerned, the reserve fund is supposed to be reserved for right. extraordinary and un unexpected. We're talking about it, so it's not extraordinary and unexpected. We don't know what it is. So. Yeah, but we but, don't. But, but you're still, you, you, you have, it is not extraordinary and unexpected at this point. When you're talking about it now, it's not extraordinary. Now you're using the reserve fund 
for a cash bank. That's, for, that's my opinion. I, I mean, I guess I, I, I'm fine one way or the other. Um, I know we had talked about it I, because I it would be more inclined to read to you know put a cap on it so you don't have an open checkbook than it would be to transfer it into reserve funds and then try and uh, vote that as an extraordinary uh, unexpected expense when you know about it. Why don't we at least put something in there with 50 grand to at least get it started? And if they get the match, then we can look at some from the reserve or whatever. And this is primarily used to fix our culverts. I, I, I don't want to be caught saying that, but yes, it's the best program out there. It's 75%. Yeah. They pay 75. Yeah. There is no other program that is even close. We have 119 that we've identified for replacement. Just to give you an idea of, of why this is so important. Um, there, there are small ones and there are large ones. Kelleher Drive is on one side of it is very large. It's probably over a million dollars. I estimate about 1.2. I, I, the engineering, we got funded in this round for the engineering. So when the engineering comes in, I will have an exact estimate, but Kelleher Drive is probably our largest culvert. And then some of the culverts are, you know, twenty or $40,000. So let's, let's assume for the moment that it is one million, just for round figures. And in order to get 25%, we'd have to put up 250000 That is correct. I'm going to try to do it um, uh, under the small bridge program, which is, is a little bit, they, we still have to have a match. But the matches can be a little bit, is counted a little bit different, and so we actually might end up with more money. But the only problem is there's a huge waiting list, and we might not be able to make it. So but we still need. We would still have to have a match, right? But we might only have to come up with 150 or 200 thousand instead of 250. But if we did do the MVP program, it would be 250. Yes, I just. Haven't decided how I'm, how the best approach is at this point, strategically. Because if we put it in, the governor might not fund it under MVP because he doesn't. He, he's right now he's using like leftover money, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. if he sees that he's funding one culvert for a million dollars and he's got only a hundred million dollars for the whole state, I, I don't know if we could get it or, you know, 50 million. It depends on how much money he has. He had leftover money at the end of, um, you know, the fiscal year. So that's why I think so many programs, you know, so much went through, including ours. Um, but it's seemingly he's finding money. He closes out some account and then he puts it up as a round. Um, it should be funded. I, I did go to Boston and I did testify. And um, so I'm hoping that it will be regularly funded pretty soon. And then we'll have more consistency um, with the rounds. We just hear about it, I hear about it, and there, you know, I just heard that they're probably gonna open up a new round uh, last week, and, that, and for the first week of October. So if we put 50,000 in it, and it turns out you need 150, you're gonna have to go to town meeting to get the other 100. Or, so. or figure out, I mean, some of, the, some of this match can come from other sources too. I mean, it's not just our, we have to have cash, but the majority, if you're place, replacing the culvert, I would say yes. We can do a little bit of in-kind. Kevin can do some work um, with the highway department, uh, but it still comes down to you're going to hire a contractor and you have to, you know, put in your coffer dams and you have to mm -hmm. have your open bottom I mean, you culvert. Get, you get stabilization. Uh, yes. And we, have, and we have a capital account. We have capital, but both of yep. those require town meetings, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, you know, I guess I'd be more inclined to put money into the stabilization and then get it, and then since it only takes uh, seven days of oh, special town meeting, 14 days. But whatever the case may be. Yeah, no, that's fine, too. <clears throat> I. We, we just have been very successful 
So it's not a consistent thing. Whenever he has money, he opens up a round, and we've been able to get funded. We've had enough, we have enough projects and enough ideas to get funded. And, and I, I, I think I said last time, I mean, we, did, we did talk to DOR about um, making sure it's in a designated account if you do vote it, so it doesn't just go into a budget account. It would go into an account that was for that specific purpose. So I guess I would also say if we didn't get the grant, then the money wouldn't be spent. It would just return to free cash at some point. So. Unless it's in a revolving fund, and then it would stay in the revolving fund. Yeah, I don't, we'd have to look into whether you can do a revolving fund for those <coughs> purposes and how, because I think we did talk to DOR. I, think, I thought Brenda did talk about a revolving fund for grant matches with DOR last uh, budget season, and I feel like that's why we double-checked this time. But, but they had just recommend that we just put it into a fund called, you know, MVP grant matches and... The revolving fund has to be set up through town meeting also, though, doesn't it? would it? have to, yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah this wouldn't so be a revolving fund. This would just in be an appropriation. Way, no matter what you do. A, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, I, was, we weren't, I wasn't asking necessarily for this to be a revolving fund, just to be set up in a match account, and then when we got the award, we would, you know, use the money if we got the so award. So the money, it wouldn't have to go back to town meeting. It, would be it wouldn't have to go back to town meeting if you voted it now, right? If town meeting voted it on Monday. Or if town meeting voted it, correct. The money would be in the fund and then mm -hmm. it could be used. Yep, and what's the available. procedure for uh, removing it, the money? Is that select board? Well, then the board, should they, I mean, then there would be a process for the board still to have to go through an application. So they sign mm -hmm. the application, so that gets submitted in. And then when they get the award, they have to sign that they're going to take the money. And so there's a time when they sign the award. Mm -hmm. And then when they do that, that identifies what the project is. Like um, this is, was an identified project that we got on, you know, this award. So then this would identify, you, you would also have this along with it that would identify exactly what the, what the funding should look like, and then we would know, you know, what our match was, and then we could just spend the money at that point because we would already have it. It would be based on whatever that was. I guess I'm very hesitant to, to appropriate money for without knowing what it's for. Well, and I and I'm and I'm fine with that because. Um, we, you know, we'd have to go to town meeting for specific. I mean, I'm just worried that we wouldn't be we wouldn't be setting aside enough money anyway. We'd have to go and um, ask for it. So I'm fine coming. You know, just having a special town meeting. And, you know, if we have to jump through quick hoops, then I guess we have yeah. to jump through quick hoops. I know. As I long as you understand that, we're just yeah. I'm just throwing out the option because, no. like Jack Davies was very upset that, you know, the the Capital short improvement, notes. short notice on capital improvement. And he didn't want to support the purchase down here because he felt that there wasn't enough information. So that's fine. But, you know, we just got notice that, you know, the natural bakers have decided to stay in Greenfield. Yeah. And yeah. we couldn't match their deal up there. So we're taking the property back. And, you know, that's why we're having a special town meeting or why there was a special town meeting anyway. Yeah. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to be just a little bit flexible. Could, could I ask you just a question, though? <clears throat> All these are capital improvements and so forth, and, and I don't remember the exact wording, but, um, and I understand that, you know, the grant money does not have to go to anybody, per se. You know, you can spend it. But since you have to bring in a match with that, at that point, does that mean it has to go back through the capital planning? Well... Um, Diana, could you go get the um, crossings map for me? Oh, sure. I just, I just, you know, I, I have brought information to, you know, brought it up to the Capitol that we're trying to identify as much, like I said, we have a hundred and over a hundred culverts that we have to replace. Right. And so I have identified them, but the numbers are so massive that we're just trying to um, prioritize them and, and chip away at it. So... I, you know, it's very hard to go to capital and say, you know, other than just saying this is identifying. Well, I no, I do understand it, but, uh, you know, by the same token, it, it, it 
there is a process in it, and does it need to be followed and or amended? Well, I, I mean, I think we had talked about, you know, the, hot, the culvert stuff being, I mean, the, we haven't even identified all the ones in the village. This is just in the outlying, you know, area. I assume area. it's the red dots that we're seeing. Right? Yeah, the red dots are the ones that we are um, working on. <coughs> All right, well, just forget about that one. Let, let, let's just go back, step back a little bit, the, this one for Article 2. Okay, that's more of culverts and so forth. Should that have gone through uh, capital planning? It did. It did. It did. Okay, I'm sorry. Tonight, if no else. Well. Yeah. Um, it, whoa, 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 whoa. Article 2 didn't go through capital tonight. No, Article 2. No. We just discussed the uh, baker. Just the natural oh, bakers. Okay. Um, I don't think it has to until it's spent anyway, as far as capital goes. You can set the money aside, but we just have to vote the appropriation, right? I, I think. If, if this, like I said, if, if people choose not to support this, we'll try to figure out how, I, I would try to figure out some other way to do this before giving back the money. Well, this really should be support. I'm not, I'm not yeah. going to say that. You yeah. know, no, well, you're, not, you're not going to get a, a three for one match no matter what you do. The, the, the problem is, I mean, I have talked about this, the culvert kind of stuff and that I'm, I'm, you know, prioritizing. The problem is the next culvert that has the highest priority is Kelleher Drive. I mean, Mill Village has already been collapsed for a while. We already knew about it. It should have been addressed after Irene. Um, Kelleher Drive, I, I, I've, you know, our highway department, poor Kevin, gets harassed by me constantly. But one of the trainings that we um, hosted, we, I, I've gotten grant money for trainings, and one of the um, trainings that we hosted used the Kelleher Drive inspection as part of the class, and that's when we found out that it was in failure. Well, what I'm, what I'm asking, and that was just I'm, that was just recently, and so in this so in this round we we so what, this was in the last six months. So what we did so it wasn't even listed on here. Um, so what we did was we put in the th um, second round or no third round was the engineering for Kelleher Drive, which is we just got awarded, and that and that will give us the idea uh, uh, the expense for it. So it hasn't had a chance to go through capital because it was well, relatively, I mean, we, we missed all the discussion over I, the winter. I know what you're saying, but I, I, I still think that it should be at least a target in the capital planning committees, whether it has a dollar value or not, is, uh, it, but there should be a uh, bookmark so that everybody's aware that there's a lot of money coming up down the road. And I do believe that would come under capital planning since, you, since the town is being asked to provide a match for capital improvements. If it was 100% grant, no, okay? But it is not 100% grant, it's, it's only a partial grant. It's a very good grant. But I still believe there's a process that needs, and Jeff knows the bylaws better well, than I do, but uh, um, I, you know, as to whether that would we be. Had the, we've had multiple discussions on this. Yeah, you know, we have, and even in the past, we've had this discussion uh, last year, as far as as far as grant money, matching grant money, and whether that should be going through capital improvement, uh, the capital improvement committee, and it kept coming back as a gray area, and uh, we've attempted to try to get clarification on that on several occasions, and we still haven't been able to get clarification, but. I agree with Bruce as far as planning purposes, it should show up someplace on that capital improvement plan. The, the problem, like, I, I absolutely agree with you. The reason why I'm trying to get, you know, capture this information is just to give you an idea of the numbers. Mm -hmm. But until we actually get the engineering, it's just my guesstimate on the size of the culvert and, and my history of being able to say it's probably over a million dollars for Kelleher Drive. Mm -hmm. um, when we replaced 
but every year the expenses go up. When we replace the Mill Village culvert by Bar's Farm, by Barway, um, you know, Bar's Farm, the um, Barway Farm, excuse me, right by the digester there, you know, I was able to get the grant through the conservation district for the culvert itself. But we as a town spent $160,000 installing the free culvert. And so, um, you know, it's, and now this culvert is, you know, another $100,000 on top of it in just a few years' time. So even though I have some experience giving the estimates, I can't really give you a true estimate until we get the engineering. And what we're doing here is paying for the engineering in each round. We're trying to get something engineered. There, and, and then we'll come up with the estimate. I can just list the culverts, but I, I, I hesitate. It's a lot of money. It's an ungodly amount of money. But I, I hesitate to tell you a dollar that we can put, put somewhere other than to just keep a running list of, of the condition of the culverts, mm -hmm. you know, which ones are we going to replace as soon as possible and just keep the list. The list is right here and that's only partial. We, we haven't even finished the lower end of the town. So. But, but I, can I just, I want to just mention, because we started with the capital plan and I just want to kind of close the loop on that. We, Kevin, um, you know, last year he spent a lot of time and presented a fairly robust uh, capital plan for equipment, for a long-term equipment plan. But mm -hmm. one of the things that he did this past year is we, you know, he did his pavement management plan and he has been looking more at the costs of infrastructure, um, you know, those kinds of infrastructure things, roads, um, culverts, um, you know, other areas that we need to attend to. The river, we have some erosion on River Road, and, and every time we go to try to attend to those items, we realize that there really isn't money, you know, available um, for even looking at engineering, but certainly for construction, we're getting 380, you know, 5,000 or so of Chapter 90 money a year. You know, that's barely getting our roads you know, some of the roads done that we need. So to your point, Jeff, we should be looking at capital work, uh, capital, uh, uh, public works in capital. Mm -hmm. When when I say, when Kevin says we need to deal with the erosion on River Road, but that's going to affect how much money we have for si for your sidewalks project, <laughs> which is what he told me last time yeah, when we yeah. talked about it. Um, it's, it's, all, it's all part of the discussion. You know, certainly we've talked about the streets, the capital, the complete well, street stuff, a, and right. the sidewalks, and that should that's, we need to put that somewhere, as, right. or we aren't going to be ever looking at how right. we're gonna. Well, that's gonna what fund we've it. talked about as far as planning to actually right. get a, a solid long-term plan here, mm -hmm. and we're not going to be able to do everything within a year or two or three. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to you know it's going to take some time with all mm -hmm. the projects that we have face in this town, right. it, it really needs to have a thorough review and a long-term plan needs to be established with priorities. And as Carolyn was mentioning, as far as also figuring out how we're going to fund it. And, and we seriously need to do that. I know people are a little hesitant, really don't want to do it because it is a lot of work, but I, I'm hoping that we could get the right people together and make that happen. I, I have really have been working on it. The problem is what happens again, we have two areas on River Road that just emerged mm -hmm. literally in the, this, over the summer. Mm -hmm. And they're a million, over a million dollars a piece, mm -hmm. at, at least. And um, so it is, it's, it's truly depressing in some ways, but I am trying to manage it as best as possible and get a list together that um, will give us an idea. I mean, right. we are really working on it. I mean, this is, I know this doesn't seem like a lot of information, but it's, it's, this is really four or five years worth of work. Oh, oh yes. No, I'm not, I'm not discrediting that at all. I mean, that's a great starting point. There's no question about it. And, that's and one of the reasons we've been so successful in the governor's program is right. because we've been organized and we have documentation to show that we, you know, we have failures and that they're related to climate or you can, 
you, you, can, you can relate it to water that can be related to climate change. Well, once you establish your capital projects in, in somewhat uh, with a, a plan, with a priority, whatever you're putting in for that dollar amount, remember it's built right in here with the, with the capital improvement bylaw as far as any planning, feasibility, engineering, or design study related to that capital project. So money could become available if we plan for that because, it, you know, with the bylaw, so it's just a matter of trying to set those priorities. Um, what so are we going to take you, on? What are we not going to take on? What year we're going to take that on? And as I said, that's, that's tough. It's a long-term plan, but I think it would be really helpful. Um, would you be... Um, would you be open to doing it in the capital planning process and put money aside for MVP program? I think we'd, that would need to be discussed with committee okay. and see how they felt. I don't want to speak for the committee. And I also think that we should have some input from the finance committee too, as far as their feelings on that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, and I'm sure Brenda can <clears throat> add some light to that too. <laughs> So article, let's take a look at article three and see, see if we can do something with it. My, I, I, I guess going through it and listening to both sides, I understand it. <clears throat> I am, I'm opposed to voting monies for, that never have to be looked at again for projects that we don't know the cost of. I second that. So I would much prefer to use either the capital improvement stabilization fund or the, or the regular stabilization fund. Uh, yeah, it does mean town meeting and you need a two thirds vote to get it out. But that would be my preference. And I'll, I'm sure we I'll second get, your motion. Okay, was I was gonna make that motion. That wasn't quite a motion. So the motion, the motion is not to not to recommend Article Three. It made a Second. positive motion. Right. No, yeah. and we, that is the we we have two things should, that we can do. We, we can either recommend to, an article or not should, recommend. Should we move to recommend Article Three and then we can vote accordingly? <clears throat> no, I don't want to move to recommend Article. I want to I, I want to move to not recommend not Article not Three. Recommend. I want it, it. That's and that is. You can either recommend or not recommend. So that, yeah, the motion okay. is to not recommend. Okay. I understand. I understand what I you're understand saying. This is the one. This is I, the one case where, where. Uh, I'll just underline it so we all know. And and if we were to reprint this, it would say not recommended by finance committee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's skip. And so who's the second? I made the motion. John seconded it. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? One opposed. So that's one, two, three, four, five in favor, one opposed. I think what we'll do in town meeting, I, obviously I haven't talked to Trevor or um, Dave on this since mm -hmm. you just made the vote, but I think we'll probably just pass over that, it. That would be fine. Because, I mean, we didn't really, I was on the fence on this personally, yeah. so I, I totally understand. And then, before you go, uh, I don't think there's been a change to Article 9 other than maybe some language. And I don't think we need to take that up again unless somebody wants to take that up again. I think John had some questions. John, did you have any questions? No, no, no. Okay. No. Article 9 is the land the land purchase, repurchase. I, I had one question on that. Um, since the wording includes general municipal purposes, has this article been presented to the planning board? I believe no, the planning board requires, it's required to be reviewed by the planning board if it's for being used for municipal purposes. 
Well, our intention is. is oh, I'm sorry. Still what, what? Oh, you're talking about this thing. Yes. Oh. But there, there are no purposes that we have in mind for the property, if that's what you're asking. I, well, no, we're going to sell it. I, I want to resell it as soon as we can. There. So, yeah, so the, the uh, you could take that out. And just say I'm sorry, Bruce, I missed your fine. concern. What was yeah. the, this, I mean, because I have a different motion from council, so can you just tell me what you're, what you well, said again? Well, the, the way you've written, it, this is written, what, the copy we've got, the acquisition of said land being determined to be necessary for the health and welfare of the, the inhabitants of Deerfield and to be used for general municipal purposes or for resale for economic development purposes under the care custody, et cetera. I believe any land purchased for municipal uses is supposed to be reviewed by the planning board before any action is taken. Okay, I'm not. And by the bylaws. That, oh, in your, by your bylaws, you mean? I believe something so. In your bylaws? Okay, I'll have to, I'm not aware of that, so I'll have to double check. You're saying if it was for general municipal purposes? Yes. Not for economic development? Not for economic development or, or health and welfare or anything else. Only for uh, the, uh, if it's going, if there's a, potential for general municipal purposes. All right, I'll have to check on that bylaw. Thank you. Okay, so, but there's, no, I don't think we need to take any other votes. I, no. I would still you, recommend it if, it, if that's not a glitch. I well, I, we did recommend it the last, yeah. so. No, I'm just saying. The question it, becomes is, is you know, unless there's something changed here, you may, may, you may not have the town meet, any good reason for the town meeting. Okay. And I can move on from that. So, uh, Carolyn and her granddaughter would like to get out and see how her other granddaughter is making out. So, uh, I just wanted to make sure you had any, um, if you had any questions on the MVP program. It, re it really is an excellent program. Um, and, and the sign too. Did you want to talk to the sign? A little oh, bit just to yes. Give a plug for the um, sign? Um, Do you really want to spend another eight thousand dollars on top of the eight thousand dollar grant? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Actually, this is a very useful thing. Um, for what? <laughs> um, the in in emergencies or even just to get people out to vote or. It just having a communication sign is really, it's really, uh, Kevin, both Kevin and John um, would just really appreciate it. To know more. You want to know more. I don't want to know. I know. You never want to know more. Oh, okay. What about the other, um, so, 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 a question. so this is, I just wanted to provide this. We had this discussion last time. There was questions about the cost. And so this, the, the cost they was just, um, I think, was ascertained from the, there was a state bid. So I've just given you that document. Um, but Lori had said, we, you know, we could go and get three quotes as well. Um, and if we got something local, we might be able to get, a, get it for a lower cost. But we definitely are going to be looking at, you know, we'd like to be looking at sixteen or 17000 I had I had some questions about this as far as the, the uh, sign now. Uh, and one, where are we going to store? Number the, two, who's going to maintain it? The highway garage would store it. Um, maintenance, um, we have, uh, the Homeland Security Council has bought the um the same signs um and we have them cached in each of the four um uh, counties and uh, we've had them for well over 10 years and um there's been very little maintenance ha having had done the batteries there is a battery that has to be replaced for a couple hundred bucks on a re you know if depending on the use the the mm -hmm. um sign up in like Franklin County doesn't get used as much as the ones in Hampshire County and um, Hamden County are borrowed constantly. So the battery life is probably, you know, every five or six years they'll have to replace the batteries. And they're approximately, I guess, I think we spent a couple hundred bucks per battery 
um, this last go around. Yeah. Oh. So how are they programmed? Is, is there software uh, updates required and all this stuff that's required? Um, I've actually never borrowed them to know if there is how, if there is software. Yeah, I don't think they require software. They're character driven. They, they can only you know there's so many lines per, char so per how characters. Do you put them but, on here? Um, but I don't think it's it's it is a basic um, modular. But I don't know that it requires like regular updates. I'm not saying that it won't get outdated in some amount of years, oh, but I don't it, think it's uh, software. How, how, do you, how do you program it to, uh, uh, for your message? Oh, to the sign? It's like a little board inside the that thing. You open it up and, yeah. Comes with it? Yes, I believe, and you just yeah, uh, program I, I'm, the I'm not sure if it has lines. software. What, yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's a software update. I think right. they're all separate. But th this, this is out of the box. You can start running it. You don't yes. need additional. Uh, hardware, software, or anything. I assume it needs a battery of some sort. If the, if the battery, I mean, as long as the battery is charged, or yeah, well, I mean, it's well, a good yeah, battery, yeah. you have to have assuming a good battery. The, the, ba the batteries come with it. Yes. So yes. Assuming there's, assuming they don't have to be charged, uh, it's out of the box. Yeah, and it does now, have do it we, does have smartphone. It does have a smartphone controller, so perhaps there's some app that you can get. And uh, and about uh, charging now, uh, does it come with chargers, or uh, does that have I, to be purchased? I, the battery seemed like the battery was. It comes with a charger. It comes with two standard batteries, and then it comes with a charger. Um, that was all part of that. Code. Okay. But just, since I just got it, they real I haven't had a chance to read it. Who decides where and when it's used? Well, we would own it. I, we would Planning own it. Committee. So it would be. <laughs> <laughs> we would own it. So it would be all available to all departments. Yeah, but who makes the decision? To, do, they, do they put a requisition for it, and to who? Um, well, since it's stored at the highway, I would imagine Kevin would have day-to-day -day control over it. He probably doesn't want one more additional thing, but he he is very excited about this. He he thinks it's a good purchase, as does John Pachork. Oh, I'm not doubting that. Oh. I'm just wondering how is this going to be managed? You could. I, I don't yeah. think we've gotten that far. I mean, uh, Kevin will, I'm sure Kevin will set up some kind of, um, you know, uh, responsibility, you know, so that if, usually our highway department deploys stuff in emergency for that kind of thing, but it would be some, you know, John, John would know, John Pachark would probably make the decision when roads are closed or detours or stuff like that. Would it be available to? Uh, service organizations in the town to promote something, some fundraising they may be doing? I think not. And the only reason I say I think not is because somebody should have um, control over it at all times. That would be, I mean, it is for town use and it is definitely for an emergency situation for sure. So if it has so much use, um, then it won't be available for an emergency. So. We would have to develop a policy, and I would be hesitant to have it loaned out on a regular basis. That's all, because we it, it would it is very needful um, if we have situations arise, um, you know, and like flooding, road closures, those kind of things. I guess that's a policy. Is I guess what I'm really asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. will, well, it would be the select, board, the select board. The select board. I'm sure we would get asked, John, and um, so we would come up with a policy. What budget account would those fall under? A what? What budget account would those fall under? Um, it, well, it's it's Lori's. Lori is the one that is um, putting forward this under the emergency management. The reason the reason why I ask is at some point down the road it'll probably need to be replaced, and I'm wondering whose budget that is going to be coming out of to replace it down the road. Okay, thank you. Anyway. Yeah. But, but this 8000 would just be transferred into the grant fund as the... Matter. Right, no, I, I understand that. But I just figured down the road, this is not going to last forever. We all know that. So in, at some point in time, it will need to be replaced. Besides the maintenance, at some point in time, it's going to be I think we could replaced. evaluate whose department gets the most use at that point. Okay. Um, 
you know, are the police using it on a regular basis? Is a highway department using it on a regular basis? Or is it the emergency manager that wants to do, you know, take, again, go out and look for a grant that would partially pay for it? Right. And, and take responsibility for it? I don't know. Well, I mean, that was part of my yeah. questioning was. I think that, as John whatever, said, right. as John brought up, I, I think that would be something we would develop along the way as a policy. Who's actually using it? Mm -hmm. Um, and hopefully be able to search yeah. out a, a grant when right. it's time. Right. Okay. Okay, are we ready to vote on this? Yes. If so, can I have a motion? I'll make a motion to recommend Article 4. Second. Okay. We have a motion to recommend Article 4. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Show of hands. Three. Mm -hmm. All those three. opposed? One. One. Abstentions? Two. Two. So it's recommended. So that's a good, so when I, when I, I would like There's to publish four. that on the, um, the warrant, the motion, so I'm going to publish, uh, should I put the votes? Would you no. prefer me to? No, okay. It's recommended. Just, sure. yes. Just recommended. Number okay. Four, just want to be sure. <clears throat> or we've never put the votes on there before. No, so. we haven't. I just wanted to be sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's confusing enough as it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, I agree. I'm okay, we're done. No. That was two abstain <laughs> and one oppose, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Three, one, two. Yeah. Okay. Thank I'll you. Handle it Thank you. Here. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> wish, wish your granddaughter luck. Yeah. yeah. Good luck to you guys. She'll be fine. I'm good. Good health. Better health than she had yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Article 5. You got a breakdown? Oh. <clears throat> um, well, I don't have a budget in front of me broken down, but I mean, I can, I can give you a, a little Same bit of thing. something. Mm -hmm. Do you have a breakdown? They dropped the article. Uh, you mean what it currently three. is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. No, I, uh, Trevor and was going to get a breakdown of what he thought he might be spending it on. They might yeah. pass that. At so least that's my recollection. Three is four, four is five. I don't have yep. that. I have this. So. Let's go Can I see you? Yeah, I'm trying to catch up too, so. And I, yeah, I think. Wait a second. They got you. Do you have a couple of there? Okay, okay, Skip okay. by any chance? Yes. And do you have another one on the. This is uh, five. Oh, you don't have five? Yeah, I, I think so. Right. That's why I said this is an old 15. copy. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Okay, I have the new one. They'll teach me to show up late. I have the new one. Okay. Yep. This is do you one. have the budget in front of you currently, um, Skip? Do you have. I think I, I thought I handed them out last time. I didn't bring them again, but. I was going to say my oh, you have your budget reports report. would have it on there, too. I don't know if you have that. Well, might just have the total. Um, it's 122-001-2, uh, one, one, it's 122-5110. Got one number. 192-842. So don't have a breakdown. But. I'll go get my Yeah, I thought it was 199-899-842. Nine, one one oh. I thought you just said 182 something. Did, oh. mm -hmm. did I? All right. Yeah, 199. So we're so I, yeah I, I would we're asking for it to be 230. <laughs> the breakdowns that I do have are for the top uh, for the three positions that are currently in the budget for the administrator, the assistant, and the um, executive or assist administrative. I have those numbers. Mm -hmm. And then the, the rest we'd ask just to have it in as admin support and we are uh, going to look for additional support to do some of our lower clerical administrative functions including minutes which we're currently outsourcing um, and we may do other types of clerical support. So we're actually looking to create a new position? No. No, we're not. At, I, don't, I don't think that we're looking to create a new position, John. We're just still in transition. Um, I think that it's 
what has become clear is that in our department, we we talked about Thank this you. a little bit last week, but um, is that that the administrative assistant is not performing functions that are um, directly related to the select board. She's performing other support functions for other departments, which are absolutely necessary, but take the time out of the select board office and our staff for us to be able to be um, you know, fully responsive and, and um, productive with our workflow. So what I meant, we're asking for more money. What I envision is that we, what I would like to propose to the board is that we either hire additional staff that supports the Board of Health and that we break off that Board of Health piece from, from Pat, because so she's doing- So it is a new position then, that you're gonna hire somebody. Yes, I think I, we need to break off some of the work. I don't think it's been exactly determined how or where that's gonna go into, but right now, we need more money in the budget for just for to do that work, but there's no position necessarily that it's in. Yes. We've been farming out currently the minutes, and we hired the assistant in Sunderland, and she's been doing those for us, and we've been paying her through the staff salaries that way. So we didn't create a position, but we have outsourced some of the work. So what is the breakdown at this point in time of the $199,000? Right now, I believe it's 90,000 for the administrator. It's 56, uh, 56, 697 was proposed for the assistant uh, town administrator. And when, when we budgeted, what did when we budget? budgeted? When you budgeted, you budgeted 56, 697. Okay. And then we have budgeted for the administrative assistant 52, 945. And that's the current employee. That's the current budget. And then we have 200 for longevity for that position for the administrative okay. assistant. So those are the, those are that, if I add these all up, they come up to the 190. 199, correct. And you're looking for so I'm looking to Right, and so 70, so the new number for the assistant, and now this position has, um, we hired somebody and that position, that position has since been um, now vacated again, so we don't have anybody in this position, but what the board most recently had agreed to was 70,000 for the assistant, and then the other number would remain the same, and then the additional money um, just to be left in the, like I said, like an administrative support. Some of that right now is going out to Cindy Bennett and Sunderland, and some of that needs to be in some type of administrative support for, like I said, right now we don't have the, the assistant town administrator that has to be hired, um, but we still need to get some, you know, we need, have to have administrative support in the office. So I don't know at the end of the year we could be turning this back to you again. The, the money we're asking for this this thirty one thousand is money we came up with this number as you know because it's a number we turned back last year in our in our funds and for the last three or four years anyway we've turned back money year over year in the administrative offices um, so now we're we are asking you to put this money back and I I am telling you and all with all honesty that um, you know some of these positions are still vacant so whether we end up having to turn some back again but this is the budget we'd like to um, move forward with. I feel, Skip and I have talked a lot about, you know, do we need the money now because we have the money now technically because we haven't spent the money, but I want to be transparent to you and to the board and, and to the town, and I think it's important that you understand that when we hire these positions, these are the salaries that we are contemplating, and I think it's very uncomfortable to have a, get a person hired and sitting in the position and then go to a go to annual town meeting next year and need to get more money for that person's salary that's already here and you know I've had I told Skip I, I had an experience in another town where we did that exact thing we, we we were told by the finance committee we don't need to go to town meeting you have some money because it's October go hire we did we hired a person and and by town meeting that person hadn't hadn't wowed everybody completely and and we're starting to do things that maybe you know they were there was just questions and all of a sudden there were people that didn't want to fund the position that didn't want to then put in the fourteen thousand dollars that we needed so that's the kind of thing that i'm talking about that could arise and that's you know why i'd like to avoid that and i'm telling you know we're trying to tell you now what we think the expectations Diana, are i've been budgeting for 50 years literally mm -hmm. 
and I have never put money in a budget this year for a position that's going to be available next year. I think that's absurd. Frankly, absolutely, totally absurd. If you don't need the money in the budget this year, don't put it in. When you need it, we'll put it in. I when it gets approved, put it in. I, for one, appreciate the transparency, and I, and I appreciate mentioning to the town that we have this line item for a position, and then when you advertise that position, being able to say this position is funded. You've got the money. So, it's funded. We don't have to argue about it. We disagree. No, it's not a question. of dis It's not a method of budgeting. It simply is not a method that I've ever seen, literally, and have, I'm talking about 50 years of budgeting. Because it well, seems reasonable to me. I, I'm just suggesting, I, under, I completely understand what you're saying, Skip. I do understand what you're saying. I think it is, I get your point. I'm not necessarily disagreeing. I don't know where town, you know, what town meeting, you know, would say, but I think it's important to, to say that right now we have budgeted in this position $40,000 for an annual salary, and I want, am intending to go hire somebody that I'm going to pay $54,000 for a salary. So in, in April, I just, I, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand, that we're going to need another $14,000 next year. And if you say to me, well, where's the money going to come from? And I have somebody already sitting in the position, I'm just saying, I think that makes it very uncomfortable for the staff. And, and I, I'm sorry that you don't see it that way, but I, I do I understand. Think, I think you're talking your about point. Article 6 now. You, yeah, you're yeah. mixing the two articles, but that's okay. Oh, I'm not talking about, oh, I'm talking about. Yeah, our, we were talking about the select board staff salaries right oh well I think it's sort of the same the thing same, yeah I'm, the I'm saying concept. the same thing it it's is. the same concept yes I do I agree with you on both because we had the dis you're right Brenda's is correct we had the discussion more around article 6 which I would that's what I was using as the example but I feel the same way about that that you know I know Skip feels strongly that we have enough money right now to hire that person at a higher hourly rate that then we could have hired them at on July 1st. And I just feel that that's something that a, a finance committee might come to me later and say, well, how did you do that? Because we didn't have that hourly rate available. So that's why I'm trying to be you know, transparent. Questions? We have a job description for the town administrator, correct? For the town administrator, I believe so, yes. We have a job description for the assistant town administrator. Yes. OK. Now we're looking for this third position. Fourth position. Fourth position. Okay, fourth position. Do we have a job description? Do I we know what this person, what this job is going to entail. Are Do you we, are you talking about? Are you referring to the thirty-one? Yeah, basically a job description. Yeah. What would? No, because I don't. I don't think this. We we're having a very difficult time reaching consensus on what the positions shall be. Part of it is because when we get to certain points, we don't have the money. So it's kind of like a chicken or egg situation mm -hmm. we keep sort of going around with. And also, I think, you know, the select board is just starting to get a good understanding of what, what the staffing has been and that how much um, of, of the, the administrative assistance time has been divested in the office. I don't think that was even really clear how much she had taken on. So mm -hmm. now that that's become, you know, we've, we've become aware of that, we need to figure out how to do that. So we have talked about breaking out some of the Board of Health responsibilities, breaking out some of the public works assisting responsibilities that Pat does. We've talked to, she supports, she does data entry for the town accountant or for, actually for, for several departments. We've talked about how to accomplish that. So those are the kinds of things. But I'm not, but we, but we haven't suggested we're gonna hire another person in our office to do all of those things. Mm -hmm. I'm just suggesting they have to be done in some way and yet we also need so more support. So how much money do you need? $31,000. Break it down for me. I cannot do that. Then as far as I'm concerned, I'm not willing to go to town meeting and tell the town they need to appropriate $31,000, but we can't explain what we're going to use it for. I think, That's, that was well, my I, point, well, too. Think, that I was think, my <laughs> point as far as trying to yeah. identify a well, job think, description. Well, I think we can say what we're going to use it for. We're going to use it for... How much? For supporting the administrative functions of the town. I don't, I don't think it's You're your... You're talking in circles. Tell me how I, much. 
It's thirty-one thousand dollars. How are you going to spend I, it? I, it's a slush fund. Yeah, it's, yes, it it's is a slush fund. It's not a. Slush not slush a slush. <laughs> oh, okay. oh gosh. This gives them. This <laughs> motion gives them the opportunity to do what they want to do. They're not going to bypass. There's actually it. enough money in the budget to spend thirty thousand dollars for another person. Maybe. So Maybe not. we're, we're going to go. So, I'm not so, going why, this so why tie their hands? We're going to town meeting. We tie now. their hands so, at every town meeting when we appropriate funds for the budget. We tie everybody's hands. That's our job. No, it's not. But, but no, that's what budgeting is. If we're rubber stamped, then it'd be easy. Then we wouldn't have to be here. I, I think the point is, is that the select board just wants to have a staff that can actually get things done and do things properly. So maybe, maybe all the pieces aren't in place yet, but, but we have this opportunity because we have a special town meeting now. We had to have it now because of the purchase of New England Natural Bakers property. So why so not get the funding in place so that they can do their job? And, they, and, they have and, the money to do the job. Maybe, maybe not. If they don't, we certainly will have the ability at the next town meeting, if, at the end of at the end of April. But skip if we to were add additional funds as needed, or you can come to the finance committee and get a transfer from the reserve fund. That is available. Those things are there, and now you're trying to bypass. You could. Yeah. And so I, I want I, you to stop it, basically. Well, I, I guess one of the things, the, the way that I was thinking of it in terms of being, um, uh, when we go out to hire, when people, you know, when if we're hiring an assistant town administrator and they go, you know, they have the opportunity to go and look at what our budget is. I just want to be sure that we're not, it's not misrepresented. I, I think, I don't, I, I, I don't, I hear what you're saying, but I, I don't. What, what does the personnel board uh, uh, take on this for uh, hiring at this much higher salary? For what position, Bruce? Exactly. What That's position? the problem. For what, what are you discussing? Which one are you talking? We haven't. We well, you just said you have a fourth position, but no job description. Yeah, no, I, what I'm so saying is I don't have a fourth position. What I'm saying is that, that there's work in the office that I feel is being done by the administrative assistant, and so the administrative assistant isn't able to do the support work that the select board office but you're needs. Going to hire so I'm not going to hire anybody. All I'm doing at this point is suggesting that the money we have in the budget right now, and I'm not even suggesting it. This is, I'm here on behalf of the board, but the board feels that the money in the budget now is not a reflection of what the administrative support may cost in fiscal year 20. That's, and, and I get what Skip's saying, there's money there and we're halfway through the year and all that. So, so I, don't, I don't think, I think this is a good dialogue to have. If the board, I don't think the board certainly can't take it off the warrant. I don't know if they're going to vote to pass over it. If Carolyn was here, maybe she'd say they vote to pass over it. I don't feel that's the case because they've had, you know, Trevor's, they've had dialogue at their table. But I think, you know, maybe, um, you know, they'd have this meeting, this have discussion say, at town meeting. Skip at this point. If the money's in the budget, it is in the budget. Um, and, uh, you definitely want to have the next town meeting because you're looking for something to fill in. And it sounds like we might even have another special town meeting between now and April anyway, if some of these grants come through, in which case you come through with some real facts and figures as exactly how it's going to be spent. It might be a little more feasible. That makes sense. Make a the motion we not recommend this article. Second. Any further can discussion? I, can I just get who who's claiming that second? John and John. Oh, okay. John and Bruce. John and Bruce and Jeff. And Take your choice. Okay, I'll pick. Makes no difference. We don't care. Cool. <laughs> no, but it would be nice to have the minutes accurately. So you you're, you seconded it. Okay. John and Bruce. Any further discussion? We're the we the discussion was on five and six, but we're just talking about five now. Correct. Yes. And so the motion. My only right. other comment would be I, I would love for the select board uh, with the assistance from the staff here put, put together uh, uh, at least a basic job description 
so people could focus on that, see that, so it's kind of tangible. And uh, I think that would be helpful, just a suggestion. I don't think this is the first time something like this has come up on this particular line item either. But that's neither here nor there tonight. Okay, okay. So we have and a this motion. was a motion to not recommend. This, yeah. Okay. The Finance Committee does not recommend. Not recommended by the Finance Committee, I guess. So all those in favor of the motion. I, Which is I, not I, to recommend. Is right not to recommend. All those opposed? Aye. Not, nay. <laughs> abstentions? So five in favor, one opposed, zero abstentions. Article 6. No, is this for the same scenario? What's yes. the account number? The uh, account number 122-5110. No, for the inspection. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 241-5110. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Um, it, it, yeah. So it looks like it's the same thing. Well, this, this is not, I mean, this, we do have a job description. We, we have uh, a new job description that we have actually posted now. We've advertised because as Skip uh, emphasized last week, we already had the money. So we already, we, got, we went out and advertised for the new position. So that position has been advertised and is on the street now. So you know, that means we don't need the article. Well, it means if, yeah, it means right now we have enough money barely to scrape by with this person if we hire them, you know, in the next couple of weeks. And then in April, we would be asking you for $14,000 more in that budget, you know. Or possibly. At, at least. Right. $14,000 more in, in FY20? I figured it would be like a 25% increase in that Then budget. fine. Whatever 21 is, 21 is. Yep. Right, yeah. But do you want a motion? Whatever 21 is, whatever 21 is. I want a motion. We don't even need to come again. Prejudge it apparently. until it's what they're okay, saying, I'm right? A motion to not recommend yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Second. Second. Yep. Is there any discussion? Right. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. <laughs> Extensions? You can you do your motion to recommend right now for the annual next year? Excuse me. The total budget Did you is. call that vote? Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, can you call a vote to recommend for next year's budget? You can't go yet. We got your motion coming up. Who was that? Wow. Who was that? What'd you say, Skip? Yeah, I can imagine she's not ahead. happy. Assistant Chairman taking over, John. Just hang on a minute. You want me to help you? Oh, that's me, huh? That's you. I that's think you. we should wait a minute to see if Skip comes back. He's coming back. Well, I think there going. might have been a misunderstanding of which article we were discussing. No, it's not, because that affects them as well. This is their staff position, too. <gasps> that's Rachel. So For? Planning board, but she, but she's oh, not here. For we're planning. We're no, no, planning she's board. the inspections department staff is also for the planning board as well. So I'm I suspect she's she's a little distraught about that, but I don't know for sure. But we'll find out maybe. <laughs> well, you won't. Uh, Once again, though, there there is money in the account to cover this year. What's the account? So it's uh, 241-5110. Right. I did do some calculations last week, and I felt that, that we, did, we did have enough, particularly because we hired Bob um, a little late, and he was part-time right. for the first, first month. I mean, it'd be different if we were going to be coming up short right. on well, Bob's cash. On, Bob is on probation, and so right. you know, that could, this, that could yeah. so, so at this point, I mean, the way that that account sits, Right, there's enough to cover for this there year. There should be enough to cover. To cover for this year. For this right. year, that's, that's right. absolutely correct. And then obviously we'll have to address it for next year. Sure. Okay, last article. Seven. Article 7. Article 7. $7,500 to the planning board account. Well, I just, I think that we're high and dry. We've been working, you know, on a shoestring from where we sit. Um, 
and uh, at this point we're, we're under the gun. We had a lot of activity in the last couple of years. A lot of it's very contentious. A lot of it has to do with um, pretty technical stuff in order to do our job well. We've got a bunch of people who are really dedicated and know a lot and um, have other jobs during the day. So in order to manage some of these projects, we're, we're really at the mercy of, of the, the um, support that we get, which is fantastic, but we get volunteer support. We don't have people to manage the calls and the second opinions, the peer reviews, um, and it's just, it becomes overwhelming. We had uh, support from the COG, and we and we had it in the person of one, you know, one person who was who knew our business pretty well, and she managed us really well. And as soon as she left, we lost a lot of our mojo, and it was really kind of bad timing. Um, and so, and there's nobody at the Cog. Otherwise, we'd go right back there and find somebody else there because that's what they do. They support local town governments, mm -hmm. but. Um, it's really important the work that we're doing with, you know, from the, the uh, re any kind of rezoning um, in town relative to housing inventory, uh, the kind of um, bylaws relative to wet water, stormwater. No, no, no. Uh, flooding, flood plain, flood plain. Thank you. Flood plain zoning. Um, that we're really concerned about at this point, which is a really hard one to hold on to because you want to be really clear. You don't want to tell people what they can and can't do with their properties, but you, you need to protect them from themselves. Um, we have to look at the solar by our solar bylaws need to be updated. Solar technology is changing like this, and we're back five years ago with solar, and, and so now now we're 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 uh, what do we call that when we. We override our own bylaw. I mean, our own. Uh, we go to the zoning board of appeals and we overturn our own things because we're not updating our, our zoning bylaws. Um, so we're 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 putting some really awkward positions. And we don't have the support. This this is this is the budget that you used to have. You used to have the money in the budget it, before. Revolving. This particular budget used to be at seventy five hundred every yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. What account? Um, it's um, uh, 175-5400. Right. Okay. Um, it's for a thousand. They no. they don't have any money left in their revolving fund. Um, it's right. it's down to bare bones, so they can't use that anymore, which is what they'd used in the past to cover the fur cog costs. Mm -hmm. and, and you know it was the yeah it was the one where. The finance committee and, and the select board essentially and town administrator asked that uh, we use the revolving fund, the money that the, it was twenty I think twenty two thousand or something like that. Correct. Right. Might have been at one time, yeah. And that's and that's down to close to zero. Or, it is. It's mm -hmm. it's so, about a thousand bucks right now, or maybe yeah. I don't know. We might have taken in some fees here recently, yeah. so it might be back up to fifteen hundred. But that's not going to get us very far. Yeah, and I think. When we make make money, when money comes in from the projects, mm -hmm. that pulls us ahead and keeps us certain, but it doesn't put us anywhere with any kind of significant projects to impact the town. It, makes, it puts us in a reactive mode as opposed to a proactive mode. And uh, we, we're just, at this point, with marijuana, and we're, we're just so reactive. We've got applicants helping us craft our bylaws. We've got an applicant who wants to craft our marijuana bylaws for us. And honest to gosh, you so know, the question then becomes, who can you get to do this work? Right. Well, that, I mean, if absolutely. You can't, if that, you can't get FERCOG to do it. Well, we're hoping that the Congress will hire somebody, and that would be lovely. Because so we can then kind of go back to status quo, but this year has been, and you know, riding out through um, the development on 510 that's contentious, and you know, solar regulations or solar money that comes loose, and then everybody in their own home wants a solar project. And we don't have a strong sense of what we want, where we want it in town. Um, again, we're just reacting, not proactive in those cases. 
So, so this is for direct support for the planning board. Direct support. Uh, right technical support. Uh, peer is, is paid for right here. Stuff that is not paid for by the developers that be, you know, such as the zoning bylaws, and so, uh, upgrades, and so forth, that you can't use for the fees we're, that you receive. We are pinching. You know, I just want to explain thing, that. This is a piece of this that's tough in terms of because we're pinching from from these two offices to get anything done for right. us, and it's very scattered. I mean, we just don't have a place. But Priscilla Phelps is essentially working for us for free half the time. Because, so and, this is and the she's bus position. So, right. so what I was saying when Rachel left the room is that the position that we were just discussing also supports the planning board, too. It's not just, you know, the inspections department. Mm -hmm. so I'll make a motion to uh, support Article 7 as far as transferring for free cash 7500 to be added to the planning board account. Second. Second. To recommend, right? We'll get a motion. Is there a second? Second. Does that go on and then that, that money, though? That's, that's just the 7500 for direct planning services. So that's for services if we if we find a consultant who is going to help us. Or, right. or me or somebody to help with decisions. Because like that's the other thing. We have help. nobody writing decisions anymore. I'm writing these decisions. You know? Or we get the applicant to write the decision, which is ridiculous. That's not how that should work. Us that's in charge, not the applicant. Okay. All right. Uh, any further discussion? There is none. All of those in favor of the motion to recommend article, whatever the article is. That's seven. Seven. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Seven zero zero. You all? Six zero. Six zero zero. Six zero. Uh, the back door is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you had to wait to the end. <laughs> okay. Do we need any review on Article 8? That's the only thing I don't have a discussion on for tonight. <coughs> yeah, that, that was simply to set up an account, and I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, and I think you'd already recommended it. says recommended we are, we by Finance right. Committee. Yes, that was recommended. Yep. Yeah, so that basically just gives us the fund to put the monies into that we voted right. at town meeting. And that was recommended at the for annual meeting. Yeah. It's one of those things that's not clear to me why you just can't do that, but and in Article Nine did Article Oh, nine you know what? I, I think you can, but but Diana chose to put it on the on the warrant. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Article nine, you decided that it's okay if we borrow. Yes. I, I, I'm not sure. Are, are they going to change the language on this motion Article by, nine? by Monday to say whether it's going to be by one thing or another? No. Well, Art, Article 9, are you going to change that language uh, yes, to say we, by borrowing? We, we, we are, yes. Okay. We, have it, we, uh, we have a draft from council that actually says to raise and appropriate by borrowing the sum of. So okay. that's what we would be so proposing. So we'd, we'd, we'd pay for that out of a capital projects fund and then borrow in that fund. So that's how that would work. Okay. Great. However you have to do it. And <clears throat> okay, I'm not gonna get back into what? this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna pass these out just so that you see them and if somebody has to, wants to discuss them we can. But. Um, this these are just revenue projections. And they're based on, well, you'll see if you can pass it. Thank you. Oh, I see. Information. I don't need this for my files. Okay. Got one more? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. enough copies for everybody. Do I? Oh, no, he didn't give me a fresh one. Oh, that's right. And, and I didn't get a chance to look. Too busy on other projects. Yeah, no, it's just. Again, it's a. Uh... It is a revenue projection, and basically, if you turn to page four, <coughs> again, excluding. 
excluding debt service. Uh, let's come up with $400,000 more than we had last year. Projected to 2020 versus 2021. Yeah, and uh, this will this is a draft. It will change. Brenda's got when when you've got the uh, figures for the actual. This is the actual 2019. Then we will uh, modify. Right. Um, I was going to update that spreadsheet for the 10 previous years by adding 19 and taking out the the oldest one. How did you do the tax revenue? Was that two and a half percent skip? Uh, that's, well, no. Should be two uh, and a half plus, uh, plus whatever you think, well, uh, plus that's plus new, new growth. growth. So in this, no, what I did was, Oh, again, that's right. Was, this is a regression, a no. formula that's calculated based on the 10 years that you see there. What's the percent? And, and, uh, so if you look at, uh, Turn to page four so I get it here. <coughs> These are the actual revenues that we collected, correct? On which one? Uh, the uh, oh tax. Right. Assuming you didn't change any of my numbers, yes. No, these were the numbers. So this is ten year history of of. Page one? Sure, page one. Page one. This is the actual record of property taxes that we collected for the years 9, 10, 11, 12 through 18. And then based on that, we projected, we, we or I came up with a uh, math formula linear equation and uh, from that we're projecting uh, that we will receive ten million six hundred and fifty three thousand and nineteen so we'll be able to check and see how how close we came uh, ten thousand or eleven million dollars in uh, twenty and eleven million three hundred and thirty eight thousand in twenty one and so essentially what you're seeing is that each one of those years, it's going up by $342,000 a year. That's basically what the, uh, the calculation does. Mm -hmm. And what's that? That's the average of the 10 years? That's, it's not, it's not average, no, but yeah, you can look at it as an average, but yeah, it's not a, an actual average. Didn't add it all up and say, what's the change been? Um, the projected 2019 is 3.6%, which is quite a bit more than 2.5%, but it could be new growth, could be other stuff. What's that? I'm sorry. What could be that local again? revenues. You're talking about the page 2019 four? 2019 versus 2018 is 3.5%, more than 3.5%. The $10,653,000? Yeah. It's, it's $342,685 more than. I believe. I just divided ten. So, so it does. It does, in effect, take into account new the growth. New thing. growth. Yeah. 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 I just. I guess we got to look at twenty twenty. And I believe that excluded the debt debt exclusions, right? Correct. Those numbers. Yeah. Yeah, we took that out because that yep. was a yep. variable. Uh, Fluctuated That's quite a, a lot bit. of new growth, isn't it? Pardon? To it it's been um, we've had some some most years recently yeah. have been over one hundred and fifty thousand a year. So. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, these are collections as opposed to the uh, what we can set the. I don't know what that other formula it actually technically is called, but uh, the two and a half percent plus. total amount of taxes that we could collect I guess we took. if everybody paid. Yeah, I don't know either what it's called exactly.
So it's a plan, again, it's a planning tool. <clears throat> Any other questions? And again, I did it last year, but I will point out, if you look on page three, Cherry Street Revenues, uh, cross your fingers, it has been going down mm -hmm. each and the, year. And the actual Cherry Sheet, finalized Cherry Sheet was even down a couple hundred thousand, if I remember right, from what we had put into our budget when we did the mm -hmm. uh, annual town okay. meeting. Okay. Was it a couple hundred? I, anyway, it was, it was, it was a, I thought, a significant amount. And it was all due to charter schools and school choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Diana, maybe you talk about the discussion that, uh, I don't know if you were able to listen to the whole thing yesterday. About um, Joe Comerford's call? Yeah. Yeah, they're working on the new Education the Opportunity Act. So they took some feedback from uh, Franklin, Hampshire, and Worcester County officials Darius was on the call too but basically to talk about what some of those things are going to look like but that that's not going to be a positive that it's not going to have a positive impact on Deerfield I'm afraid I think it's a it's meant to equalize schools across the state and which is what um, they've been trying to do up to this point anyway right. which is why we've right. seen decreases a lot right so we're going to keep seeing decreases so we so have to plan we, for every that every time they say equalize what they mean is Deerfield, you're considered a rich community. That's right. It's, it's one of the more wealthy you ones. Less money. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, That's exactly right. I've been That's saying right. that back when I was a selectman over 10 years ago. Yeah, I said it for 18 years before that. That's just the way it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So I think it's going to be really, really critical to you know think about that when we look at the school budgets coming up this year and stuff, and just continue to you know participate in those hearings and. Um, so if you look at it, uh, the actual revenues for 2018, uh, state aid, cherry sheet, $1.4 million. And roughly they're going down by 42000 a year. So in about 40 years from now, we won't have to worry about the cherry sheet. There won't be any money there, so it never can go down after that. So well, stop going once, down. Uh, once it gets to zero, <laughs> they can't take any more away from us, can they? Send us a bill. Yeah, then they raise the sales. Yeah. Then, then they'll send us a bill, say, give us the 42000 hey, You owe us. Yeah. 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 Checks in the mail. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about? Nobody's got to talk about it. Oh. Make a motion when you're drunk. You, you have just... I think it's there. Uh, I passed out the job description for the new position in the inspection department. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't get a copy. Some I, didn't a I have a copy someplace. On the, it's on the website. Okay. It should be. <laughs> it is. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not there concerned. There should be a couple over there. Well, I know I got the name. Here, I have two. I know it here. I know it here. I'm at at least two, I'll say. Give them some more paper. No, I saw it in here. They're important. I like the digital better. Yeah, I think Jeff is probably better. I like the minutes, Ellie. Does this person come in it? Even though I wasn't here. You know if you have feedback or tips. I have a question on it. Okay, yeah. So this person goes in grade level four, is it going to be step one or is it? How somewhere, do we between, determine? somewhere between step one and step three is what I was told, is what the plan was. Right? And how are they going to I'm use not, this I person? Never because said that. you already have one <laughs> I think you did. clerical person in there. I think now. that's what's been the policy. Well, the uh, clerical person is retiring tomorrow. Right. Yeah, so you have leaving. nobody. Right. Nobody yep. supporting inspections or planning board yeah. or zoning. Right. Well, Pat does zoning. Concom. Okay. Concom. Okay. Concom. But we need to get zoning over there, too. So. I have a feeling you'll see an increase in revenues once you get this position in because I think there's a lot of, a lot of fees that don't get collected. I think that self-admitted self because of lack of help. You know, full-time help. Exactly. So. 
If we have nothing further, I'll I second that motion to adjourn. Do you want John to make a motion? motion on the second? Who made the motion? John. Ten minutes ago. Oh. Before you started with this. Oh, that's when I left. No. Try to get that no. No. That's when I left. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, Brad.